This video is going to walk you through getting started with Google Classroom and all the different features that it offers for students. When you use Google Classroom, the best browser to use on the PC side anyway is Chrome. So you see I've opened a Chrome browser and I'm going to click on the blue sign in button. Now your teacher should have already created an account for you using HaydenMagnet.org. So you're going to click on, you're going to log in using your HaydenMagnet.org account. Don't forget to enter your password. Now that you've logged in, we're going to open another tab. So we'll keep this one open, open another tab, and we're going to just type in classroom.google.com. And this is going to open up the classroom, the Google Classroom tab. So the two things that you want to do when you get to class is log in using your school um, log account and password. And then you want to open up Chrome and log in with your HaydenMagnet.org account. Now the first time you go to Google Classroom, you don't have any classes yet. You're going to come up here to the upper right hand button and click on the join. Your teacher will give you a code for your classroom and you simply type it in and you only have to do this one time and then you will be uh, linked into that class. So I just typed in my class code, clicked join. and the classroom will show up. Now I'm going to click over here and just um, show you the opening page. I can see if I have more than one class, all the classes will show up with some kind of icon. So this is a classroom for first hour. And you've got a couple of icons here that are going to be really useful. We'll come back to them in just a minute. I'm going to click on the class and the first thing that it comes to is this stream. There's also classwork and there's people. Now, a stream is one of the least useful options that you have in Google Classroom. Really, the only reason you might want to use it is because you can see here under upcoming uh, assignments that, that are going to be due soon. Other than that, the stream is not very useful because anything can be posted here kind of at any time and it's not necessarily the most recent assignment. So what I'm going to recommend that you do when you come to Google Classroom is always just click on classwork. Just get in the habit of doing it. It's going to be way more useful. So we click on classwork and things are going to be organized by units. So your teacher will create up units for your different assignments. I created one for resources and I'm going to put the plans for success, class calendar, anything that you might want to have readily available to you under our resources. Then I have the different units where the assignments are actually going to be. You can see that there's some different icons here. This is labeled as a material and these are labeled as assignments. So these icons can help you know uh, what the different things are posted in Google Classroom. Over here we've got some tabs for all topics and then my two topics right now are resources and unit one and as I add more, more things will show up here. So that these topics, if you click on them, help you get just to the things that you're looking for. If I only want to see the resources, if I only want to see unit one, all the assignments are listed here. Or I could just come to all topics and it's organized like this. So this is really the most useful option in Google Classroom is to click on Classwork. Now let's take a look at some of these assignments. If I come here to Comic Life page, I can see that there is an attachment to this that might give me some instructions. There's an instructions right here. I'm going to click, and there's also an assignment document for you to fill out. I'm going to click on View Assignment because this is going to give me the most options. I've got Work. Here's my assignment that I'm going to turn in. Here's my hand in button. If I need to attach something to it, I would come right here. Here's the name of the assignment, the due date, and I ha if the teacher gives you any special instructions, they will be right here. If there's any kind of a supplemental material, they will show up right here too. So I'm going to click on the supplementary material. It's going to take me through some instructions. So this one happens to be a Google Slides. It might be a document, a PDF, the supplemental material can basically be anything. It's going to be view only. Um, it's instructions for me. It's not anything I'm going to fill out, but it's giving me um, instructions on what to do. I can close this if I want to. I can keep it open. When it's time for me to do something, I can click on the document. It's already going to have my name on it, so that's really handy. It's already linked into the correct assignment. I fill out the answers that my teacher is going to expect me to fill out for this assignment. And, and when I'm all completed, I can click on Turn In. 
Now, if I don't really see this button, I can also come here and I can close it and I can see the hand in right here. Now, this particular assignment asks me to upload a document from my student account. So I'm going to click here on the add. So I've created a document in, in um, Comic Life. I've saved it on my student account and now I'm going to need to attach it as a file. You can attach something from your Google Drive or you can do a link, but usually if you're going to add something, it's a file from your student account. So I'm going to click on file. I'm going to navigate to my student account. And when I click here, mine will look a little bit different from your account. So I'm just going right to my flash drive, but you would go to your student account here, which would be your student number. Click the file that you want to open and actually upload. So the file is showing here. Click on the upload button. And I'm ready to hand it in. So I've answered the questions here on this document that the teacher left me with my name on it. I've answered these questions. I've attached my file. And I'm ready to hand it in. It's just going to ask me to verify, and I click Hand In. Now when I go back, I'm going to use my back arrow, or I can click here. And I go always go right to classwork, and you can see that this icon is now grayed. That lets me know that it's been turned in, whereas these two are not grayed, so I have not turned them in yet. So, I, so at a glance, you can easily see things that you might be missing. Also, if I go to view assignment, I can see that it's handed in. This is going to give me some information, and it tells me how much, how many points it's worth. I can come back later after my teacher has graded and returned the assignment and see how many points I got, and it would say something else different. So we're going to come back to that, too, and see what it's like. I'm going to click here to go back, click on Classwork. And let's take a look at another assignment. This one doesn't have any instructions. It does have a document with my name on it, so I'm going to click on View Assignment. I can see that it's assigned, but not turned in. I can open it. These instructions are probably going to be on the document. So as I go through the assignment, I can read it. I can answer the questions where I need to answer questions. And when I'm all finished, I can turn it in. Now it says handed in. If I realize I made a mistake and maybe I didn't answer all the questions, I can click on unsubmit. I can open the document up, make any changes that I need to make, and then hand it in again. So just remember the unsubmit is an option that you have. Let's go back to our assignment, to our classwork. And now I can see that I have two assignments turned in, and I have one that's not turned in yet. Now, this one is a survey, and I see something here. I'm going to click on View Assignment, and I'm going to click on Notice I don't really have anything over here to open. I'm going to click on this Google Form, and there's some things to, for me to answer. Once I finish and click Submit, it's automatically going to hand it in. So this one is just a little bit different. It's actually quite easy because you don't have to worry about actually saying hand in. When I click Submit, it will be handed in. And I'll still get um, some feedback from my teacher if I need. So that's kind of some overview of what the assignments look like. But remember, click on Classwork, and then you can see easily at a glance things that you are assigned things you've turned in. Now we're going to go for a day or two. We're going to come back, you know, like pretend come back like the teacher has graded our work, and we'll see what it looks like then. All right, I've come back another day to see if the teacher has graded my work. I'm going to log in. And here in my Google Classroom, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come right away to Classwork. I can see that my assignments have all been turned in. And I'm interested to see if I've got a grade form. So I can open one of them. I'm going to view this assignment, and it's marked. And I can see right here 
that I got 10 out of 10. If I had any comments from the teacher, right here, they show up and it says a comment. Now I can, as a student, I can click here and I can add a comment of my own. So you can do this while you're submitting the assignment, before you submit the assignment. Anytime you need to communicate with your teacher on a particular assignment, you can leave a private comment. So just remember that you have that. Let's go look at another assignment. I'm going to click on classwork. I'm going to come to my problem solving process assignment. I'm going to view it and I see, hmm, I did not get full credit. So I'm going to look for a comment. Here in the comment, the teacher tells me some things I can do to get a better grade. So I'm going to open up my Google Doc. I might go in through here, fix the parts of the assignment that I hadn't fixed before, and I can click on turn in again. It's going to ask me, do I want to hand in my work? It's like resubmitting. And then my teacher will get it. If I want to leave a comment saying something like I resubmitted or I fixed the problem, I can communicate with my teacher. I'm going to click back here on this icon right here. I'm going to go to classes, and this is kind of like at the beginning. Now, remember I told you that we had these two icons down here that would come in handy. So I'm going to click on this first one, which is going to show me my assignments. If I click on it, everything is kind of organized by assigned, returned, or missing. So instead of going assignment by assignment like I showed you earlier, I can just come right here. I can see everything that was assigned. And right now, everything has been turned in, returned with a grade. And it even tells me my grade right here and if anything is missing. Now right now I don't have any missing assignments, but this is great to know if you ever have some free time, you're wondering what to do, you can click on your missing assignments. It's like, oh yeah, and sometimes you forget that you didn't turn in an assignment that maybe you did have finished. So this is once again a really quick and easy way to check your work, and make sure that you're keeping up with everything that you have been assigned. Okay, also if I come back here to my classes, I can click on this icon. This is just going to take me to my Google Drive. I can save other work besides what my teacher assigns me in here. So this is my folder from this work, but I can go to my Drive and I might have some other assignments that I want to save for my other classes. And this will just give me uh, ready access to anything that I have saved in this Google account. So this is your introduction to Google Classroom. Have a great school year.